So I didn't pay for these at all. It took me just a little bit of time to put them all back together, figure out what's here and what's not. There's hundreds of dollars here, and the best part is I didn't even pay for it. Hey, it's Don. Today I wanted to talk about vintage G.I. Joes. Now, I was picking up some 78 records. The second trip I took, I've shown some of them. I've shown some uh, photos. We've talked about some of them in several recent videos. And when I pulled up in the garbage, he was throwing out a whole bunch of old toys. There was a whole massive amount of vintage G.I. Joes. Now, I had to put these back together. All the pieces weren't in the right spots. There's bags that were included with them. There was even a couple of figures, which I was really surprised. Now, he was just going to discard them, so I got to get them for free. Now, you should know, if you're into vintage toys, what this one is here. This is Ghost Striker. Um, this one here in the condition that it's in, other than the stickers, it's about complete. No figures or anything, but this is a pretty darn good toy right here. Now, originally, I didn't think I was going to have anything but a couple of these, because there was two of these in here. So I honestly thought I would just have a couple of incomplete ones looking at it. But once I dug in the box and started pulling out the pieces, I was able to put one together at least, and it includes all the missiles and the pieces as well. It even has landing gear, the cockpit itself, which this one piece here can sell for 15 or $20 on the right day of the week. Someone may have one that's cracked and they really need to replace it. So it was a pretty nice day, not just for the records, but for a bunch of vintage toys from the late 80s and early 90s. Now this one here, in the condition it's in, should at least get me 60 plus bucks. So that's a huge boost for the time it took to go out there and pick up the records and stuff. I spent five hours on this trip and about the same on another trip, plus I paid labor the time before. So excellent haul here now i'm going to show you how to tell exactly what every single toy in the gi joe line is from a site we'll show you that at the end here if you got a bunch sitting around the house it's very very easy to figure out what everything is called you use the site i'm going to show you and then you go to ebay and you can price it from there simple as can be now one other factor here that most people haven't a clue on is that you can sell the pieces. 15 bucks for this, the tail piece, 10 or 15 bucks. Many times I can get more for the pieces than I ever would by selling this just as it is. Um, if you don't know about this actual fighter jet here, it has a disc on the bottom and it lights up. This one here has a handle so you can fly them around that's why there's two of them most people would have had dog fights and things like that let's show you a few other ones that i was able to get again for free just sitting out at the curb they're moving they need to get rid of everything let's just show you a few more now this is battle brawler uh it's like 90 92 now there's a lot of pieces in these that can get lost it was not put together when i found it these were off of it the guns were off of it some of these were missing now all of these parts come off so it's very hard to find all of the little pieces so if this wasn't complete and it's not it's missing a front plate i think that's about it if i'm not mistaken here but it even says what it is here now the stickers are all messed up people think ah oh, it's in pieces and how am i ever going to put it back together and the stickers and this and that you can buy replacement stickers for just a few dollars you can print your own if you really want to uh there's templates and stuff there's uh, directions on the site we're going to show you on how to put these all together and where the stickers go and the whole work so it's really not that hard it just took me about 20 minutes to put all of them back together and i've got quite a few here i'll show you a few other ones now here's another one. This is Pile Driver. It's like, I don't know, I guess a drill or something like that. Now luckily, one of the two figures that were in with this is the one that goes with it, the ninja for this one. He actually sits in here like this. I can get him down in there. So this is a pretty good find with the figure 45 to 65 bucks. Here's yet another one, the Shark 9000. Now here's another one. Now I didn't put all the pieces together. I've got some pieces that actually go to this still in the bag here, launchers and other parts. So this is about 98% complete. I think there's one single piece missing from this 
Shark 9000. So in the condition that this is in with the parts that are here, I should easily get 40 to say 70 bucks depending on if I piece it out or I sell it as a whole. Now individual pieces like the launchers and things can go for 15 bucks or better in many of these units here. Now this is the battle wagon and it's in pretty good condition. It even has the original string with it. It's missing, I think, or maybe it's in one of these bags, one of the missiles here. Now just this missile launcher right here from the battle wagon will get you 25 bucks, just this part. So the whole thing, the whole battle wagon as it is should get you 55 to 75 bucks. Now 75 bucks would be taking it apart and selling these guns on the front individually for 10 or 15 bucks a piece other pieces the string or even tires from this you can sell as well now this is ice snake and i do have the launcher from the top here it's in the bag as well i just didn't put it back in there yet so this is an easy 20 to say 40 45 bucks depending again how i saw it so whole i'll get my money back quicker if i piece it out it'll take longer but i could get almost double the amount by selling the tires and the skis separately the guards separately the can and top piece separately as well now this isn't so bad either this is air commandos and this is spirit this goes to the spirit set um nice condition most people don't assume this is going to carry much value but this is worth like 30 bucks on its own just like this so that's not too bad at all in my opinion for something like this it's held up it's one of the more attractive ones too patriotic and the whole works now there's also probably 10 or 15 pieces from other vehicles i don't have the vehicles i just have the pieces so those will sell as replacement pieces there's probably about 60 to say 90 bucks in there if i break them all out and sell them individually this was also in there and this is the naval gunner set from the 12 inch gi joes which isn't too bad it's broken it has a few issues with it I'll be able to piece this out, or somebody who does models might love this too for the griblies all over it. Some really nice pieces. Um, it's a large size. Someone may want it as battle damaged or something. It's missing one of the barrels, unfortunately. Uh, that's the biggest drawback. A few other things, but still, it was free. I'll probably get 15 bucks for it plus shipping. Now, I know somebody's going to ask what the other figure was. I showed you the ninja that went with that one, but this is the other one. This is Wild Bill. I have his hat. I have his back pack i have his knife and i think there's a gun that came with him that's in there too so he's about complete minus the file card uh this is i think version three um there's a big confusion i see people list this one as version two but he's actually three if i'm not mistaken he's worth 15 bare bones minimum because he's about complete minus the file card to about 25 bucks or so if i want to hold out and keep it at a high price i may be able to get 30 bucks max um, who knows, maybe I'll run into the file card one day, but excellent condition either way. Now let's show you real quick how to look these up and tell who's who and what's what. So this is probably one of the easiest and best sites to track down what vehicle you have, which G.I. Joe you have as well. Um, best thing to know is every one that I can think of, of the three and three quarter inch figures has a date on the figure. So you start with a date that's on the figure of the vehicle. Um, one thing to think about too, the date that's on the item, the item itself may be later. It may be a later version or it may have been copyrighted one year at the end of one year and not produced and manufactured and pushed out to the general public till the very beginning of the very next year. So some of the items may say 91, but they were actually released in 92. So FYI, some of the figures could be different as well if they had a different version like Wild Bill for an example. Now with this site, Yo Joe, I'll have a link down in the description box. You go to the Joe database here. You've got toys, comics, collectibles, international media. If you go to toys, you can break it down by Hot Toys, Sigma. I mean, it has everything in here. So nothing is missed that I can think of in here, even the micros. So if you go to figures, just click on figures and you can pick the year. Go by the date on the figure. That's honestly probably the best way to tell. The earlier ones are kind of generic. They remind me of the black hole figures of the same time frame to some extent. Uh, it almost looks like Star um, if it was red, some of the figures like the, the Cobra figures. If you click on it, it'll open up the figure. Now there's a bunch of ads. If you have an ad blocker, turn on ad blocker and you won't have to see any of this junk on here, but it gives you the date, some basic information. All the views of the figures, you can see how they move. It shows you the weapons as well. Now the same thing, instead of picking the action figures themselves, I picked vehicles and then I can pick by date. And it's got a wide range of them in here. 
Uh, let's just pick 91. And here's the battle wagon that I showed you right here. So it's not very hard. Just look at the pictures. Click the one that you got to make sure you have the right version, the right everything that goes with it. Another good factor is most of them have the actual instruction sheets here so you can see how to put it together and how everything works. Here's the page for Ghost Striker, the jet that I showed you in the beginning. It shows you all the pieces, parts, and again, here are the instruction sheets. And what's really cool is it also has a copy of the decals so if you need the stickers they're right here you can blow these up to the right size print them off yourself cut them out very carefully and boom you've got a nice looking displayable ghost striker now once you know the names you just simply go to ebay i've got battle wagon and joe that's all i would recommend typing in type in as few words as you can to find what you're looking for and if you slide through here you can see some do sell for some pretty darn good money all added up i should easily make over 300 dollars profit after fees for these free gi joes but anyway that's what i have for you today well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. is the rugged new G.I. Joe Adventure Team. At dawn, G.I. Joe heads out across the desert in search of a mysterious missing mummy. Suddenly, an earthquake. No time to lose. Joe must get the mummy out. Can G.I. Joe win his race against time? Find out in The Secret of the Mummy's Tomb, one of the exciting G.I. Joe Adventure Team sets. G.I. Joe, now with lifelike hair from Hasbro.